Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War. <laughs> Let's jump into mission numero quattro. So uh, I asked people for the their opinions. The city of Magna Bonum was a success. The orcs caught us off our guard, but not unprepared. I will not underestimate these aliens again. It is clear now that their primary push was towards the capital city and they have moved in to attack with a speed I have rarely seen a military force capable of achieving. I have read reports of orc clans who focus on fast strikes, but I did not realize they could be so coordinated. It is as if something is driving the orcs here, some unknown desire or instinct. The Imperial Guard regiments watching over the city are decimated and will not be resupplied for at least 24 hours. The orcs will renew their attacks far sooner. Our scouts are reporting a force massing 50 kilometers from the city that dwarfs the group that attacked Magna Bonum, and reports from civilians speak of a mighty orc who leads them, bigger and more cunning than the rest. If the capital city falls, this planet will not be far behind. I cannot allow this to occur. All right, so what I was about to say was uh, I asked people for their opinions on difficulty. And people seem to be pretty universal in the feeling that the tempo in the game on hard is better than on insane because insane is only a health modifier for the enemies. And it just makes things a slog. So I'm going to go with the popular opinion. I also tend to agree. So let's give it a go doesn't really make the game that much harder, it just makes it much longer. <laughs> Destroy the Xenos. Got lots of vehicles this time. Gotta get the rockets. Everything is ready, boss. <laughs> Them humies is in for a good stomping. This is gonna be the best fight of their miserable lives. Just make sure it's the last fight of their lives. I don't take orders from you, Yumi. We've held up our side of the bargain, have we not? You wanted a new planet to wage war on? We have given it to you. You wanted to face the Imperium's greatest warriors, the Space Marines. They are here. We've even provided you with weapons and Imperial tanks to use on the battlefield. And all we ask in return is that you keep the Imperials distracted from our operations here. You've kept your word! But that still don't mean you can order the orcs around. My apologies. We've delivered the last of the weaponry. They're in the hands of your... servants. We'll take our leave now. I respectfully request that you keep the Marines busy for as long as you can. We'll keep them more than busy. We'll keep them dead. I, I respect the orcs. The thought of cow-towing to these creatures disgusts me. The orcs are a tool, nothing more. And quite an effective one, I might add. Perhaps. But I dislike providing such unpredictable aliens with our own weaponry. Lord Bale. 
Orcs are not unpredictable. Quite the contrary. You can rely on them to turn against you. But they will honor our agreement as long as we provide them with enemies to satiate their battle lust. If we intimidated them into doing our bidding, showed them our strength, they would take pause before betraying us. You cannot intimidate something that knows no fear. Trouble yourself no longer with the Orcs. We will have what we came for and be gone before they finish with the Imperials and turn on us. Why is we talking with them Yumis instead of fighting with them? Them smelly chaos boys is weak. Not nearly enough of a challenge for the boys. If they were strong like orcs, they wouldn't need us to fight for them. We'll take their guns and their help, and when we're done chopping up all the humies, we'll come back here and chop them up as well. <laughs> Orbital imagery shows a heavy concentration of orcs in the area. We must secure a location and establish a base before destroying the war boss and his clan. Combine the holy fire of the whirlwinds with the jump packs of our assault marines. Cleanse this area. Are the assault marines the reapers? Okay. Understood. Uh, the only thing that can beat the space marines. Pause during an autosave. Okay, so these are definitely Reapers. They got they got a jump ability. Oh, and yeah, it's still not locking to the other screen, unfortunately. So how do you work? Attack ground, cease fire. Do we just attack ground? As you command. Get him, buddy. Oh, left click. Get him, buddy. This is a good button. Get him. Uh oh, what are they doing? <laughs> Why are they having issues? Can we move them a little bit closer? The enemy is attacking. His wrath falls from the heavens. Can we? Triangulating attack coordinates. His Do we have to attack it right? I'm not sure that I like this unit. I... <laughs> I'm having issues. Attack round. Like, it wants me to do it right here, but I want to kill the towers. All right, I give up. Heresy grows from idleness. Da, 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 da. The assault marines are cool, though. Yes, my lord. What's your Let's just uh, hit that add more squad members button. At your command. Okay, yeah, we did. We didn't need the artillery anyway. Awaiting orders. It's fine. I don't. I don't know what's going on with them. So, will it let me attack there again? No. <laughs> You're doing your best, I know. Oh, and I'm doing mine. We've all been there in life. Are we gonna die? Please, can you attack something? Hey, I figured it out. They all missed. Um. I, I have no idea what's happening, but we are losing terribly. Um, stop. Oh, hitting the stop button works. And then you can attack ground. And miss. Preparing whirlwind missile battery to fire. Triangulating attack I don't know, dude. They will never see it coming. Left click on a location in the game world to have the selected unit bombard that location. Left click. As you command. 
What am I doing wrong? Okay, I hit stop. They all did their little thing. Why aren't you firing? I don't... I don't understand this mission. At all. I've also noticed that my uh, mini-map is bigger than the mini-map, which is great. Oh no. What's over here? Can we go play a different map? <laughs> let's, let's just go this way and see what, see what the world has to offer. I'm hoping it's something cool, because I might have to restart. I, uh, could not figure out how to reliably use their ability. I'm not... I'm not convinced this is going anywhere useful. Oh, what is this? Bunch of craters. And this goes over here, which goes off the map. Okay. So. Let me just play with this. I'm hitting G and clicking. And they're not attacking the ground. They're going over to it. And if I click attack ground, they just walk over to it. Why don't you attack the ground? Why are you walking? And if I right click, it also does the same thing. I'm like triple, I'm quadruple, quintuple checking to make sure that I am hitting right, or hitting left click instead of right click. I've tried both. And I cannot figure out how to get this unit to fire its missiles. This is so confusing. I guess I'm going to restart the mission. Because I figured out how to fire once. Um. Yeah, it works perfectly the first time. And this guy will not fire. Oh, this is so jank. Triangulating attack coordinates. I can't I can't get them to fire at anything. I do not know what to do. I these guys can't win on their own, right? Um, I'm really sorry, I don't know what to do. Please, fire. So when I hit stop, they all went through the thing and then they could fire, right? So maybe if we do that... Oh, uh, okay. Just let them go through their thing. I'm going to bombard exactly in the circle. They will never see it coming. Yeah. Sure can kill that circle. Can these guys shoot from up here at least? No. Okay, everybody jump. I guess we try to take down the tower. They do kill that really quick. Do they kill this really quick? Alright, so we have this. This tower is being tanked. This is my strategy. Using the world's least useful artillery tank to uh, tank. It's working. This is working perfectly. Just as was designed. Man, I feel like an idiot right now. I cannot wait to learn what I'm doing wrong. Because I did like every combination of button clicks that I could think of. Which, you know, it was like five. Whirlwind 
unfortunately, these uh, these assault marines are pretty amazing. I I definitely enjoy them as people, and I would like to spend a lot of my free time hanging out with them. Unfortunately, having a lot of issue with orc spawns. Come on. Hit the stop button, let it charge up, see if we can get a thing to work. Add more guys, take down this tower. Oh gosh, they're spawning so quick. Fire. I do not know. Let's see if we can take down this, uh, boy's hut. Boys Hut's kind of like Pizza Hut. You gotta take it down fast or you get your money back. That joke sounded better in my head. Okay. We're gonna target fire. Buzz it. Keep it going. And we've spent about a thousand dollars just trying to bust this base that I'm pretty sure is supposed to be really easy. But it is what it is, right? Sometimes you just have to accept the way that fate is going to go. So these guys back, do not lose them. You guys can take the control point. Because I'm pretty sure the assault marines are good enough to destroy. Particularly because this tower is busy. The only reason we're winning this is because the tower is busy. Stand ready. Awaiting orders. Okay, this has like six guys. We're gonna get it. We're gonna take this. We're good. 17 minutes into the video and I beat the first part. Of this location. It seems a second orc clan has gathered between us. They are heavily defended on this plateau. They must be eliminated to clear a path to the war boss. Okay. Oh. Man, I sure wish I had about a thousand dollars. Oh, goodness. So these are building. That is good. Looks like we can multi-build because they're both doing their thing automatically. That's good to know. Initializing build protocol. And then... I think the best course of action is to aggressively start grabbing these control points that are not fitting inside of the minimap so that I can uh, get more money. He who stands with me oh. shall be my brother. Got the librarian. Uh, cannot attach squads. Some squads do not allow attachments. Okay. Through the destruction of our enemies, we earn our salvation. I wasn't attaching them to the ranged units that I was using. However, it seems like attaching these guys to melee is fine. Though I can't do it right now. Uh, so we got the smite. Let's go practice smiting. Yeah. Heathens are going to get wrecked by that one. Disappointment. One thing that I really like about this game that is uh, not necessarily true for many RTS is the fact that you can utilize uh, multiple control groups for a unit. Like I can put this guy in my main moving around killing people group. And I can have him in control group 2 at the same time. Makes life a lot easier for moving with spellcaster type guys. And we're gonna build listing post here first. Oh, not enough requisition. Oh, no. Oh, we got this guy too. I guess that he can't join up either, can he? So I'm gonna try really hard. My faith is my shield. Oh, did they know? Where'd they come from? Oh, they got little jump jets too. Look at that, they probably jumped over. Assault marines are now available to us. They can be built from the chapel barracks. Alright, where's the chapel barracks? There it is, assault marines. There's some upgrades. Assault marines with melta bombs. Melta bombs sounds like something that the orcs would have. We're going to melt my a bomb. Is my shield. Yes, it melts them. Yes, Alright, listening post. Beware the alien. And I think that I'm going to, because I'm so low, 
start out with some vehicle production. Where's yes, this guy? Yes, We're going to get some one. plasma generators. And I feel like a couple vehicles really early on will allow me to start pushing pretty Please aggressively because they're so powerful. Oh, here they are. How you doing, bud? <laughs> Dead? Is that the answer? Oh, it will be soon. So these guys don't have any weapons I can equip them with. That is interesting. Oh, vehicle cap increase. I wonder how much it goes. Oh, we're at zero of zero right now. So we're definitely going to have to get vehicle cap. Be my brother. These seem insane. They're really, really, really fast at killing infantry. Well, let's see how they are against this leader. The Emperor Pretty decent. For the honor of the chapter. All right, and then we can upgrade this, fortify the position, get more income, fortify the position, get more income, and plasma generator. Let's go killing. We can always pull back if we need to. I don't want to jump because I feel like I can use that as an escape if I need to. And I just want to be safe. Uh, heavy bolter, armory... Wait, how do you build... Yes, uh, maybe you need to upgrade. Vehicle cap increase before I can get vehicles, or maybe it's the monastery. I bet it's the monastery. Yeah, I'm going to save up for that. The Emperor protects. Oh, I'm supposed to take that. Yeah, I just want to get a move on because I wasted so much time. What is this upgrade? Global bonus to power production. Okay, it's global. Ooh. Interesting. That's pretty good. What would you Monster headquarters. The don't want to blast these nerds. The okay, it's weird because I can't click on the right part of the minimap. We're going to build a listing post. L. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. What is this hotkey? J. Da -da 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 -da. Oh gosh, there's a lot of guys over there. That's fine for now. Oh, hello. Okay, you come over here, and then you smite. Get these guys out of here. Okay, the smite did a lot of damage. This guy's doing okay. Just building this stuff. Having a good time. And let's take this capture point, I guess. What would you have the heroes are not having a great time on their own. Yes, but they'll learn to have more fun. One. Need a vehicle cap increase. Really glad that I put that there. Nice little turret helping out. It feels like it's almost always worth having this fortified position add on. Because it gives you extra money in addition to everything else. Like, that's really yes, good. I don't think I can build it up here, though. The machine cult is ready to be requisitioned. Yeah, there we go. Gain access to vehicles. Oh, 350. Oh, I have 350. Isn't that convenient? While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath. Well, I gotta have a bad day. Because I know how to use the hotkey J. There's not enough room to jump there. Okay. Well, we'll jump in a slightly less threatening manner. Adjacent to the enemies. Engagement research. Global bonus to requisition production. Oh. Yeah. More money. I love money. Oh, we have five of seven vehicle supply, huh? Let's increase that again. And then I gotta get the more plasma generators. I await your instructions. I don't think that's a good place to put it. <laughs> we can build commanders for these guys. I should have done that. I don't really feel comfortable jumping onto these sticks, but I guess I'll do it. Today the enemy shall know fear. And then I gotta get them little assault marine sergeants. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath. I was just scared that those little sticks were gonna impale me. Well wins and their long range artillery are being made available. Nope. Build them from the machine cult. Nope. You can't make me. 
I'm going dreadnoughts, whether you like it or not, game. Because I don't know how to use this artillery. I just don't get it. It's too complicated. Oh, they do have guns. They just choose not to use them most of the time. Wow, they're powerful, too. Would you look at that? The Emperor protects. We gotta get this you a little sergeant friend. Why are they so good at ranged combat now? They've just decided that that is their thing. Get that control group. Get that vehicle. Oh yeah, look at that income. Oh, it's going up so quick. We're gonna get so many friends. Walk softly. At the listening Carry post. Gun. Dreadnoughts, only 170. What a budget unit. Oh, my reinforcement took... The enemy <laughs> one of these guys got built right at the same moment, didn't he? Beware the alien. The mutant. The heretic. Here to serve. So I can go... 17! What? Why is it so high? I can build so many vehicles. Why does level 1 give 5 and level 2 give 17? <laughs> that is that is a very high amount. Um, let's strengthen the power grid in a moment. Beware the alien. Oh my goodness, doing things that America wishes it could. Taking damage. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath... Actually, Americans would probably be really excited about strengthening the power grid if it built ready. giant death robots. Walk softly and carry That's totally our thing. Praise the Emperor. On alert, brothers. I, I don't know where that guy's going. Nearby. Doesn't he matter to me. With me We're gonna build a lot of dreadnoughts. Then we won't have to weep at all for him. We'll just Even smash. Death, I still serve. All right, fortress monastery. We cannot get the fortress monastery upgrade. We are just on the stronghold monastery, I believe. Which means Faith that we cannot get the turn. twin linked last cannons. Long range effective against infantry. Yeah, that seems like what I want right now, but I'm not gonna upgrade them until I have more Area of them secure. because I'd rather just keep the production going for now. It's a slow process, My right? Hey, could you slap this guy? Oh. Yeah! Smap him! Got him. He got smapped. I'm sorry if you die. It's not my problem, though, because you're not a Dreadnought. I only care about Dreadnought and Dreadnought accessories. I think I need even more power generation. I await your instructions. This day shall be like a, a Bitcoin miner for the Imperium. Weapons at ready. It is time. I'm gonna assume this is the end of this little outpost area, so I can probably take it down with what I have right here. What would you have me do? Oh no, it's the beginning. Yeah, let's uh, let's undo my logic here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Retreat! Alright, we almost have three of these. I wish it told me what the build rate was. Like the build duration. Alright, Dreadnoughts, get in the action. Probably gonna have to grab some Space Marine squads. To follow things up. I cannot build any more plasma generators. I have officially run out. I command in the name of the Emperor. Let's try not to lose this guy. I'm gonna do it Davy Gunface style and not lose a unit. Probably never heard of him, a niche YouTuber to beat this game without losing a unit. What a legend. What a novel concept. Faith is eternal. Faith is eternal. 
Uh, I kind of want these guys in their own control. How do you get guys out? There we go. Venerate the immortal emperor. Did I lose my hero? Nah, he's back. He doesn't count as dead if you don't uh, show on screen that he died. More dreadnoughts. On alert, brothers. The enemy must be nearby. Maybe I don't want them in different control groups. I'm feeling extra lazy today. Let's go smash. Enough power. Yeah, we're fine. Let's stop complaining, game. Marine squad deployed shall end you. I have waited long for this They really expect me to build a lot of artillery here. They're gonna be very surprised when I don't. Alright, let's keep building up these. Uh I guess I want to build rocket launchers or something, because it feels like the dreadnoughts just destroy everything. So we might as well just get rid of all the vehicles and buildings that could get in their way, because they are able to grab everybody and throw them halfway across the universe. Of course, I'm not going to get them until I have uh, all my dreadnoughts, and they're completely upgraded. Power sword. Sergeants. Plasma pistols. Librarian gets a plasma. Yeah, you can have a plasma pistol, Mr. Librarian. If that helps in your duties, then I think it's acceptable. I know the library is a scary place. Dewey's gonna have no idea what hit him. He's thinking about decimals this whole time. We're going to get him with the plasma pistol. Oh, it's just like Halo. Well, guys. Thank you, Space Marine Squad. All the friends are going to join up together, and life is just going great, isn't it? It is absolutely beautiful. This entire base has been turned into goo. We will establish a forward base at this location to facilitate ready access to space marines. We will need many to ensure the war boss is dead and buried. Thermoplasma generator. Thermoplasma generators are available. They will provide us greater access to power. I have awoken. Okay. I await your instructions. Let's build one of those. With all due haste. That seems pretty good. That's the only thing I'm going to build there because uh, my power generation is pretty fine, actually. And then we'll keep marching. What do we have to do? Kill the war boss's entire base? Yeah, that's my not a problem. Shall not falter. I don't think that's where you want to be. Yeah, that was a good try. I will purge the unclean. Let's keep getting upgrades. Securing objective. Squad cap increase. Not really a thing that I care about right now. Uh, assault Marines with bombs. Yeah, why not? Frag grenades. You can have those. Equips all Marines with target finder. Yeah, sure. Bionics. Yeah, sounds great. Whatever, whatever. More heavy weapons. Sounds fantastic. Let's go murder some people. I will be there soon. By his word. Uh oh, we're soggy. Look at that. This is obviously the soggy indicator. I am the instrument of his will. We're going to have to shake him like a dog after. I am ready to serve. Gonna get water all Jay over the hates. floor. It is better to die for the Emperor than live for yourself. Dreadnoughts are amazing. <laughs> so I heard that in the third version of this game, they removed, like, these guys can do the lift them up and flamethrower them to death thing. And they apparently removed that from the game in the third series. Which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Apparently they did it for multiplayer balance because it was, uh, like, too easy to counter the unit while it was doing it. And that is the dumbest excuse I've ever heard for them not bothering to put it into a game. Because 
apparently you could just like surround them while they were doing it, but just let them move while they're grabbing a people and flamethrowing them. Why not? And if not being able to use the flamethrower is too big of a thing, then build it into their power budget. Make them slightly stronger. Like, I really hate when companies do that, and it feels like a lie of an excuse to me. I'll be completely honest. As someone who has only known about this mechanic for two days and has become highly attached to it in that amount of time, I'm going to say with 100% certainty, with my gamer PhD, that uh, they absolutely could have kept it in and they chose not to because they were lazy, and then they blamed competitive balance on it. And that sucks. Yeah, punch him. It is better to die for the Emperor than live okay, for Okay, let's get some rocket launches. Seems like one of those good-to-have little things. Just keep one in the back cupboard, you know? Yeah, the enemy's not very smart here. <laughs> Just charging in. Even in death, we theoretically could repair this guy. We're not gonna. Because it's better to die for the Emperor than... I have heard legends of such beasts, but I've never seen one. To Men, to concentrate your fire. We must take this creature down. He's a transport! That's so cool! Get him! Fire the rockets! Oh, he's so powerful! If only we had some sort of long-range artillery. Alright, I think this guy does some sort of splash damage, so I'm just gonna kind of split these up. Uh, melt a bombs! Melt a bombs! Oh my gosh, he is just a behemoth! It's unkillable! Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Nope, you're not the smiter. Smite him! Teach these heathens what for. I gotta get my other guy in the fight. Oh gosh, no, not war boss! I know the war boss is the guy we gotta kill, right? But I would rather fight. Squig off! What a guy. He's such power! You're probably so much weaker. 16,000 HP, this guy's only got 4,000. What a loser. Let's bop this boss. Sorry, boss. We got over here, couple more guys to send on in. Oh, he's running, what a coward. What a coward. Ow. Ow, ow, ooh, mm, ah, ooh, okay. Ow, no, 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 They, uh, they, <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. And it's, it seems pretty high tech. I mean, not, not high tech, but you know what I mean. Strong? We gotta get some rockets. We have more upgrades. Uh, I don't really care. I don't want to. Ah! No, oh, I tapped out of the game. Oh no. I did not mean to do that. We're coming back, don't worry. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Command Perfect. On alert, brothers. The enemy must I can't be believe nearby. he showed such cowardice. Exhibited it. I am ready to serve again. What's the Oh, does the airplane deliver it? What's the airplane in? That's cool. I have awoken. Okay, it's gonna be a while before he gets over there. It's, uh... Some space marine squads. What's your order? You rebuild... Fire! I am ready to serve again. The How dare they attack me with their weapons? Ow! Ooh, ho, ho. The glory These are strong. Ragdolling all my friends. I love how over the top all the ragdolling is. It's so good. Melt a bomb. Melt a bomb. How do you use this? It's a grenade. Directly on enemy infantry. Yeah, whatever. Oh, it's the war boss. Okay. 
Yes, my lord. I don't know why he left the defensive home that he had. Not this time, you coward. We're gonna take you down. Oh, he didn't run. I was gonna jump behind him if he tried to run. It was gonna look really cool, trust me. Just like, close your eyes and envision it right now. Wouldn't it have been great? Actually, don't close your eyes because YouTube puts ads in during black screens and I don't know if that would count. I don't want you to have to watch an ad while your eyes are closed. They're salivating over the idea of that technology right now. These guys are... Super, super bold. Just keep getting missile launchers. Keep the pressure up. Okay, this is down. There's only one more big tank, and then I think the rest of this is going to be easy. Easy. Nice. I feel like when I tabbed out, my money got really high. I don't know if this is true. I'm going to have to go back and watch what happens. Because, like, I guess maybe I just stopped macroing during the big fight, too, because I was, like, doing really well on supply until I wasn't. Yeah, I guess that's what happened. Man, this base dies quick. Oh, that is not the end, is it? We have to go all the way to the corner. Interesting. I kind of thought this would be the end. From, like, a normal pacing perspective, you know? Faith is eternal by his word. Oh, moving out. They're still I tanking us. Darn it, Lehman. I will purge the it's very interesting that they can fire on things targets. outside of their vision. You don't see that in many games for anything besides like long range artillery, but these rockets are doing it, and I wouldn't classify that as long range artillery most of the time. Like infantry stuff, it's very rare to see it on. It's interesting, though. I will crush those who stand because you get a little bit of vision, it seems, whenever something attacks you and then you can strike back, which makes sense. I don't know if there's like an accuracy penalty or something, but that would be really cool. Command me. Fear denies faith. I am the instrument of his will. Keep moving. All right, here's the final base. Though I do feel like, given that we already destroyed the super guy. It's kind of like, we destroyed two super guys at once. And then, this base over here does not appear to have any super guys. Which is just a little bit of weird pacing, you know what I mean? Like, it feels like we're just doing some mopping up at the end instead of having a climactic battle. That's alright. I mean, the boss fight was really cool. I liked it quite a bit. I love the fact how the uh, guy is scripted to run away. At least I assume he's scripted. And then they just blast you with all that artillery. It really showcases a uh, orcs aren't dumb. They just like killing stuff. You know what I mean? And that seems to be the narrative that they're going with. And that's what everybody tells me. And then they use the actual gameplay in order to show that instead of just saying it. Uh, it's called Ludo Narrative, and a lot of games are really bad at it, so I have a lot of respect for the fact that they're willing to do it. And they didn't even bother to, like, explain it to the player, right? They didn't go, oh, look, the orcs are so intelligent. They used an ambush. They're more clever than they look. And a lot of games would do that. This is just like, oh, well, you got ambush, nerd! And that's just great. It really, really is. More games should be bold enough to do that. I think this is the last, last thing. I've been so impressed with this game overall. Like, basically everything except for the rocket artillery, I have been absolutely a giant fan of. Alright, do we have to capture these points? Oh. Construct a second stronghold. Alright. Guess I can do that. I don't know if I have a builder yes, over here. Yeah, I guess we'll send him. One. I guess I am building the space what after all. At your command. Oh, my space marines! I left them here. The enemy is attacking. What is I my objective? Of his will. It is better to die for the emperor yes, than my lord. Let's go start taking points. I kind of went on the warpath at the end, you know. 
Ah, uh, maybe we have to destroy I this. To serve again. At your command. We can do that easily. Direct us to the enemy. There is no such thing Even as in innocence. The place of guilt. Head on over here. Is a few tiny guys. I am ready to serve again. All right, this is ours. This is ours. Even in death, I still Everybody head on over. Plants, birds, kill. At last, back to war. I shall end you. Oh, I don't need those. I don't need any production. I won this mission. What am I doing? It is better to die for the yeah, it appears like we got to take out this self. little bit of base over here, Plants, most likely. Birds, like kill. the bigger generator. None shall stop us. I am ready to serve again. Understood. A little bit more. Command and there we go. Faith is eternal. Faith is our shield. Command me. Identifying oh, my guys are too stupid. I will crush those they can't figure out how to deal with a very small wall. There we I guess they're shooting a little bit. Command me. But what if I smite it? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> That's the thing about rockets. They make the buildings disappear mighty fast. Are you done? Almost. Okay. Did we win? Direct us to the enemy. Did I just, like, not bring the hero units close enough to the court, to the center? I stand ready. I, uh... I am ready to serve. Awaiting orders. Onward to glory! Kill the war boss and destroy his entire base. Alright, so my next thought is maybe there's some more entire base up here. to glory! This, uh, this part reeks of old RTS design, where it's like, find the last building. My uh, StarCraft my 1 shield. had so much of this, where it's like, they have one random Beware missile turret in the corner, the and you have to find it. For the glory of the Imperium. An open mind is like a fortress with its he gates and and with and It's gotta be right over here. Yup. The boys the hut. Stay vigilant. I think this is the last one. At least the rocket launchers do a ton of damage, right? They just smoke these buildings. Of the rockets follow the terrain, so they just go up the cliff. Orders received. Brother Tantheus, burned beyond recovery of his gene seed, along with Brother Michaelis. Nothing was left of them save for ash. They burned from the inside out. Anything else to report? The Orc Warboss has been destroyed, but we saw a dropship leave the area. Captain, she bore the eight-pointed star. The mark of the ruinous powers of chaos. The forces of chaos? Here? Now? Tartarus has endured several Black Crusades led by the terrible Chaos Champions. However, it seems too convenient that Orcs and these heretics are here at the same time. But I trust the eyes of our scouts. Isidore, do you sense anything? No, I have sensed nothing. But if the nature of Brother Tantius's demise is any indication, then they would have a sorcerer with them who would be capable of masking their presence. Especially with all the background static caused by the orcs. <laughs> Draw distance is ah, bizarre. Our honored guest has arrived. Who is it? Inquisitor Mordecai Toff. Protector of the Emperor's divine word and will. Is he here to take command? An Inquisitor may have near unlimited power. Yes, he can commission the service of any Imperial citizen, from peasant to planetary governor, but... I shall not cede command of my space marines to him, Inquisitor or not. Then why is he here? Does he suspect one of us of heresy? He is an Inquisitor. They suspect everyone of heresy. If chaos taints this world, then that explains his presence. 
We must share with him what we discovered. Inquisitor Toth, welcome to Tartarus. Thank you, Captain. But we have little time for courtesies. You and your men must leave Tartarus. Now. I really liked that mission. I thought that the boss fight was a ton of fun. The big old boy that we had to smash through that was doing all the damage and he was so powerful. And the orc war boss with the ambush, that was awesome. Really, really impressed with everything, except for the little bit of cleanup at the end. Uh, I think that that could have gone without, but that is such a tiny thing. All right, uh, I'm just doing this while I remember it. Where is... Where is the option for permanent bodies? Persistent bodies. Oh, I have it on. Okay, someone told me that I didn't and I needed to turn it on, but uh, it looks like I do. All right, guys, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Being a Space Marine. I'm really enjoying it, and I hope you are too, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.